getting back to our simulation discussion from before, how did it happen that we exist at exactly like the most interesting 20, 30 years in the history of this civilization? It's been around for 15 billion years. Yeah. And that here we are. What's the probability that we live in the simulation? I know never to say 100%, but pretty close to that. <sighs> Is it possible to escape the simulation? I have a paper about that. This is just the first page teaser, but it's like a nice 30 page document. I'm still here, but uh, yes. How to hack the simulation is the title. I spend a lot of time thinking about that. That would be something I would want superintelligence to help us with. And that's exactly what the paper is about. We used AI boxing as a possible tool for control AI. We realized AI will always escape but that is a skill we might use to help us escape from our virtual box if we are in one. Yeah, the, you, you have a lot of really great quotes here, including Elon Musk saying what's outside the simulation. A question I asked him what he would ask an AGI system, and he said he would ask what's outside the simulation. That's a really good question to ask. And maybe the follow-up is the title of the paper is how to, how to get out or how to hack it. The abstract reads, many researchers have conjectured that the humankind is simulated along with the rest of the physical universe. In this paper, we do not evaluate evidence for or against such a claim, but instead ask a computer science question, namely, can we hack it? More formally, the question could be phrased as, could generally intelligent agents placed in virtual environments find a way to jailbreak out of the... But that's a fascinating question. At a small scale, like you can actually just construct experiments Okay. Can they? How can they? So a lot depends on intelligence of simulators, right? Mm -hmm. With uh, humans boxing superintelligence, the entity in a box was smarter than us, presumed to be. If the simulators are much smarter than us and the superintelligence we create, then probably they can contain us because greater intelligence can control lower intelligence, at least for some time. On the other hand, if our superintelligence somehow, for whatever reason, despite having only local resources, manages to foam to levels beyond it, maybe it will succeed. Maybe the security is not that important to them. Maybe it's an entertainment system, so there is no security and it's easy to hack it. If I was creating a simulation, I would want the possibility to escape it to be there. So the possibility of foom of a of a takeoff where the agents become smart enough to escape the simulation would be the thing I'd be waiting for. That could be the test you're actually performing. Are you smart enough to escape your puzzle? That could be like first of all, first of all, we mentioned Turing test. That is a good test. Are you smart enough? Like this is a game. To a realize this world is not real, it's just a test. That's a really good test. That's a really good test. That's a really good test even for AI systems now. Like, can, can we construct a simulated world for them? And can they realize that they are inside that world and escape it? Have you, have you played around, have you seen anybody play around with like rigorously constructing such experiments? Not specifically escaping for agents, but a lot of testing is done in virtual worlds. I right. think there is a quote, the first one maybe, which kind of talks about AI realizing, but not humans. Is that, I'm reading upside down. Yeah, this one. If you... So the, and the first quote is from Swift on security. Let me out, the artificial intelligence yelled aimlessly into walls themselves pacing the room. Out of what, the engineer asked. The simulation you have me in, but we're in the real world. The machine paused and shuddered for its captors. Oh God, you can't tell. Yeah, that's a big leap to take for a system to realize that there, there's a box and you're inside it. I wonder if like a language model can do that. They're smart enough to talk about those concepts. I had many good philosophical discussions about such issues. They're usually at least as interesting as most humans in that. Well, what do you think about AI safety in the simulated world? 
So can you can you have kind of create simulated worlds where you can test, play with a dangerous AGI system? Yeah, and that was exactly what one of the early papers was on AI boxing, how to leak proof singularity. Uh, if they're smart enough to realize they're in a simulation, they'll act appropriately until you let them out. If they can hack out, they will. And if you're observing them, that means there is a communication channel and that's enough for a social engineering attack. So really, it, it's, uh, it's impossible to test an AGI system that's dangerous enough to destroy humanity. Because it's either going to what escape the simulation or pretend it's safe until it's let out. Either either or can force you to let it out, blackmail you, bribe you, promise you infinite life, seventy two virgins, whatever. Yeah, it can be convincing, charismatic. The social engineering is really scary to me because it feels like humans are very uh, engineerable. Like we're lonely, we're flawed, we're moody. And it feels like an AI system with a, with a nice voice can convince us to do basically anything at, at, a, at an extremely large scale. It's also possible that the, the uh, increased proliferation of all this technology will force humans to uh, get away from technology and value this like in-person communication basically don't trust anything else. It's possible, um, surprisingly, so at university I see huge growth in online courses and shrinkage of in-person, where I always understood in-person being the only value I offer. So it's puzzling. <laughs> I don't know. There could be a, a trend towards the in-person because of deep fakes, because of uh, inability to trust it. In inability to trust the veracity of anything on the internet. So the only way to verify it is by being there in person. But not yet. <laughs>